Hey, friend, thanks for popping in. Uh, just hanging out in my shop today, tinkering, washing my truck. And actually, I don't know if I've ever given you a tour of my shop. This is Zinger. I got a big combo unit behind us. And this is my big vac truck, a.k.a. turd sucker. My first ever Kenworth. Give you a quick tour of our yard if you've never seen it. Got lots of equipment home right now. A lot of guys have sent stuff home. Projects ending or canceled as the whole world seems to be uh, wanting to go home and hide in their living rooms. But um, anyway, we don't worry about anything, do we? Because we don't trust in the price of oil. We don't trust in what uh, the news is saying. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. I got a great scripture for you today as I record this. It's March 21st, 321. I want to give you 1 John 321, which says, Dear friends, if... Now, there's a big if here, okay? Listen, this is kingdom teaching. There's always an if connected to king. People say, what is kingdom teaching? You can recognize kingdom teaching. It usually has a really big promise and a really big if. Whenever you see a scripture that has a really big promise and a really big if connected to it, it's usually kingdom revelation. It means, I'll do this if you'll do that. All right? So here's a very big promise with a very big if. 1 John 3.21 it says, If our hearts do not condemn us, does your heart condemn you, friend? This is the question. Do you have a heart that's condemning you? Do you have a heart that's saying, hey, uh, you're not living right? Is your heart telling you that you need to change? I'm not asking if God, God isn't condemning us. Our own hearts condemn us. That's what John said. He says, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and we receive from him. Here's the big promise. We receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. Let me say that again in a nutshell. If you keep his commands and do what pleases him. In other words, if you're saying yes to God, living a surrendered life, you will have confidence when you approach him. Your heart will not condemn you. And as a result, you will see powerful miracles released when you pray. In fact, it says you'll get whatever you ask for. Now, the opposite is also true. If you don't do what he's asking, if you're not keeping his commands, if you're not living a life that pleases him, your heart will condemn you and you won't get what you ask for. You know, many people are frustrated that God's not answering their prayers. But I'll tell you something, uh, living a powerful life, living a life that reaches through the veil, being the kind of person that God pays attention to. You say, I thought God paid attention to everyone. No, not the same level. No, he doesn't. The, the prayers of a righteous man are powerful and effective. The prayer of a, a slightly unrighteous man, hit or miss. Friends, Keeping his commands, doing what pleases him, what that does is it gives you confidence before him. When you come before him in prayer, you have peace in your heart, you have more faith, and as a result, you see breakthrough when you pray. And so uh, there's your little kingdom scripture for the day. 1 John 3.21. Take some time. Memorize that one. Meditate on it. And if there's anything in your life that is keeping your heart uh, from feeling at peace. Anything that your heart is condemning you about, just repent of that. Turn from that today. Say yes to God in a bigger, day, in a bigger way and watch how much that changes your prayers. Hope that was a blessing to you. If you, ha if you haven't already, liked it, share it, and uh, join the Oil Patch Pulpit community just by sending me an email, feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. Say, Steve, I like your stuff, and we'll send it all to you for free. God bless you. We'll see you soon.